<laughs> All right, Andy, thanks. Private donors step up to help a public school in Sand Springs. How a number of people came together to make a difference for students. They, they really seem to take a lot of pride. It's not just uh, the school's kitchen, it's our kitchen. Robin Venable's talking about a remodel at Charles Page High School that was long overdue. And, and it was in really bad shape. We had a, one bank of turquoise cabinets and a pink fork and a beach towel cut into six pieces for pot holders and, you know, no, just odds and ends, burnt up pans, and it was really bad. Water, ice, we have it all. Robin teaches home economics and says their old kitchen was falling apart. Here are some pictures of what it looked like before. She put in a call to the Sand Springs Foundation to see if they could help. Her timing was perfect. The foundation is always looking for teachers to uh, submit applications for creative and innovative teaching materials. Then Sullivan Cabinets made a huge donation. Also, Lowe's gave the school a grant for new appliances. Several volunteers installed the new kitchen. It's modern, it looks great, and most of all, it's a perfect learning environment. It is just so exciting to see what that has been transformed in. And then you have to chill it for the like... The school hosted an open house to celebrate. Students, including those in a special needs program, help prepare all the food and are excited to have the new space to do it. It's a lot easier to do. Like the other one, uh, you had to wash it by hand instead. And you had to try to get all the food out of the sink, and it was nasty. Our fridge with the water and ice maker, new stove, New cabinets. A plaque recognizes the key players who made the new kitchen a reality. Robin says it's a kitchen makeover just like on TV. Only this one will make a difference for students for years to come. I would pretty much like to say thank you to them. If you know of someone making a difference, let us know about them. Go to the problem solver section of KJRH.com.